I want to go across now to the drone expert on our show and understand from him the implications for a country like India. Karan Karam Khandar, because I'm reading here uh, about these particular drones. There was the United Nations Security Council report which says that these most likely, the Houthi arsenal uh, for this kind of ammunition is a Kasef 1, which is, uh, which is very similar to an Iranian-made Ababil 2T UAV, which has been used in Yemen since 2016. Do we know at all whether such technology is available in the Indian neighborhood? Is that really a big threat that we'll have to be aware of? Uh, you know, uh, in India, we have to, uh, we are first of all not at all prepared uh, for an attack of, of such type. Um, and, uh, and the reason is, I, I want to just give a little bit of a background uh, about the technology that is available in India today to combat such an attack and why we are not prepared. Uh, actually, this goes back to the Kargil War, uh, you know, in 1999, uh, when uh, the Indian ballistic missile uh, program actually started, uh, when there was a threat from the then Foreign uh, Secretary of Pakistan uh, that, that they would use any kind of uh, threat possible uh, to counterattack. So uh, during that time, we had this uh, program and we uh, were then uh, uh, you know, designing the PAD uh, and the AADs, uh, which are now used with the Delhi uh, NCT multi-tiered uh, approach uh, system that we are planning. Uh, and this is uh, to safeguard the national capital. And we have a multi-tiered approach for that. Uh, so this is going to comprise of indigenous uh, the Akash surface-to-air missiles. Uh, as well as uh, some of the S-400s that you just talked about, uh, and also uh, the Israeli, uh, I think it's the, it's the uh, Barka or uh, Barka 8 or something like that. Um, so this is a multi-tiered thing, but the, the thing is that these are essentially costing thousands of crores of rupees, uh, and these are very, very costly. Uh, so the technology is really built to combat surface-to-air missiles, we are really not prepared to uh, combat the threat from, say, uh, a drone that's traveling uh, less than 500 meters uh, in altitude. Uh, and this is where I think the country and the startups in the country should now uh, focus on. Because there is technology out there uh, that is being used. The fixed wings that I talked, that I talked about earlier, these are now being used with uh, survey survey projects for you know oil oil and gas pi pipelines and construction projects. You're absolutely projects right because Wailabad, this has massive psychological ramifications as well for the entire oil market. The moment oil traders start feeling that you can strike multiple times at the most sensitive uh, Saudi refineries successfully, then they don't know where the next drone's coming from. This could you know we've already seen crude oil prices jump. This could very soon lead to petrol, diesel prices going up in India and across the world unless the Saudis can get production facilities back on track really quick. The billions of dollars that Saudi Arabia